without looking at these things, literally your life can go in just a completely different direction. Or you can even find yourself doing things that are not, let's say, not truly of value to you, to others around you that are not worth it or even necessary, needed at that time, or just really in general. Shout out to my little sis for this shirt. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I don't know how to wear it, but kind of figured it out. But anyway, these are the three things that if you take care of, you won't suffer from. Um, and you can kind of like use at will when needed. So first thing all of us suffer from, if not dealt with, demons. Okay, you see the confirmation horn in the background, demons, okay? You ever looked up the seven deadly sins i've had a guru i've had a guide teach me about these things because this shit can be hard you know to really take seasons or times to sit with yourself and deal with your shit it's very hard but it's very critical and crucial for every person who really feel like a major role or you know you feel like you have a big destiny to fulfill you have to address these demons you got whether it's coming from an external person or is something within yourself you realize like damn certain situations don't even have to play out a certain way if these things are dealt with it's not for the weak heart okay for the faint of heart at all okay then also realize look we all suffer from this because most of the world is not woke and they operate from this place they operate from their demons which then makes them one okay they don't know the difference between who they are outside of these different more negative um, I wanted to say negative Nancy, negative aspects of themselves. They don't know the difference between that part of themselves and who they really are, okay? Because their world has kind of, the world they live in, the, the place they grew up, the environment they grew up around enabled these um, patterns, these ways they showed up that's actually really toxic and bad for them. And so that is how you can kind of begin to see the how it is manifested but then you also got to realize like we came down here to this earth and that's why we even manifest um these experiences with these type of people because it's like not everybody is really on a divine mission or a sacred path or a journey you know some people just came here to hate there's some people came here you know anger is another demon as well so that you know what's for you you're going to do what god has in store for you and slay that damn shit all right second thing we all suffer from if not dealt with this can be definitely hard Harder said than done because we all have once again not just demons we have to deal with but guys we be trying to yeah. say oh god said oh this this and that and it'd be like no you really just want what you want it's like that thin line if not dealt with if you don't deal with those desires if you don't deal with those demons like life can get a little tricky where the moment you think you're doing something you love it it's so good for you but it could be very oddly you know kind of like destroying you at the same time okay and that's just advice also that's been given to me by another mentor online mentor okay the flight boss because it's just truth like you deal with it one your demons could actually start to work for you okay y'all know what i'm saying if you're really spiritual two your desires can also work for you and you can find a like little playground like balance line between how far to go with these things and use them also as motivation to get to where you want to be i was able to slay all these different people and situations playing out that wanted me to continue to smoke cigarettes people coming out of nowhere like oh you want a cigarette or just weird situations playing out i don't know some of y'all probably have really seen that too i know i've had moments where i was like i'm about to quit and then i seen a pack of cigs somewhere just chilling there you know what i'm saying like what the fuck type shit so when you look at your desires at one point that was a desire for me but it was a desire that was going to destroy me if i had not stopped as an artist as a as a speaker okay i need my vocals i need my lungs this is necessary for me to do my work but when the the the, the scales it becomes unhealthy now i can't do my job now this is a the desires that's trying to destroy me okay and it's definitely um coming from some type of demonic space i must have been in when i was in whether it was worry whether it was fear you know whether even it was anger you know what i'm saying that was making me smoke like that you know what i'm saying that i had to deal with you know things from my past my own childhood traumas my own anxiety my own um things that i had neglected over time not knowing it existed it was 
was there for me to look at. And once I looked at it, then I was able to slay the thing in me that wanted to continue to smoke these cigs. You know, the desire of the situation played out. When other people tried to bring me that energy, I was able to block it out completely. Okay, um, the last thing we suffer from, you know, is delusions. It's All okay. these things adding up, delusions can work for you as well. Okay, but when they don't, we're not looked at. When you don't look at your demons and your your past struggles and maybe even the things that you was openly exposed to as a youngin. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I even know for me, for cigarettes, it's not like I just started smoking them on my own. My own family, on no offense, kind of influenced that onto me. Different family members who were already doing that kind of like made that they were kind of like a demon to me, which opened that world up. You know what I'm saying? And like tempted me in a sense maybe not trying to but a, 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 in their own sense just doing it themselves it's like they became a vessel to be used in a negative sense um and not in a positive sense as they probably would have liked to be um you feel like those efforts were being worked against by this one thing and that's how demons come in they come in to fuck everything up it'd be like without well, one thing and you'd be like damn bro like i was doing all this but it, it got destroyed by this thing that wasn't dealt with that wasn't slayed um, so when we are in these lower spaces or dealing with these desires and that's about to damn throw us off our path um you gotta really be honest it's coming from this space of like the subconscious world not being dealt with and now we're being delusional now we're making up excuses to go drink we're making up reasons why we need to escape basically we, we need to fall into this demon's trap it's it's all you know we start playing devil's advocate with even ourselves that little devil's advocate within ourselves start playing mind games and like oh well, we know you want to do this so you might as well text that ex back like some dumb shit and it'd be like no don't do it okay when you are more in a healthier space which is more of a dreamy type of energy you could actually use your delusions and be like you know instead of me texting the ex i'm going to make a song about them boom it's just that simple and that's because we have free will that's because we have imagination we always have that inner child like spirit to us that just wants to imagine and daydream to do what we want but if not dealt with that subconscious stuff we can kind of get a little too delusive salute you know what i'm saying you want to be delusive salute for the good stuff for the dreamy stuff for your mission for your purpose like mm, i just think it's so possible that i can make a million dollars i don't know how but if we don't deal with our shadow side then this is how these delusions start to not really work for us i even could say you know going to college i may have really been in a delusion about going to college i didn't even think i really needed to go but i was going through so many different things at home that it just felt right for me to do i didn't really want to deal with the reality of my situation and I can see why things have played out the way they did. But I'm happy that I dealt with them. Now that I've dealt with them, I'm really doing my delusions of around my success and my career and where I wanted to shift things and take things. I'm really seeing success in all these different areas of my life, whether it's astrology, tarot, film, or music. Okay, I'm seeing success there. It's not just a daydream. It's not just a delusion. It's my now reality. This dream has become real. Something good and not something negative, like a monster in my head, like it would be under our bed. We dealt with that inner child issue. You feel me? Because I've dealt with you know what I'm saying, my different demons and childhood trauma um, on a whole new level and really integrate a lot of things. Um, and you guys can also really get down to the nitty gritty of where these different things that we suffer from come from. Um, you can get to the nitty gritty of these things in my inner child workshop. I mean, my inner child online course. I have a course as well that you guys can do on your own free time where you don't even have to look at me child okay and talk to me and interact you can just watch the videos i mean you could look at me but because i'm a leo but anyways you can't uh even though i be like don't look at me because i got my aqua side to me don't touch but okay down in the description box you can get that online inner child course and get right to it and be done with these things and then life will feel so much better and that's what actually happened to me when i turn my delusions into more of my dreams or look more towards my dreams and use my delusions to aid that and not my nightmares i didn't create a nightmare for myself or anyone else around this led me to my good desires and my desires actually being met because i was able to honor them i don't want to run you guys around in circles okay but you definitely will be running these demons around in circles and slaying their heads off you will be out here really fulfilling your greatest dreams okay doing things you truly desire that are actually healthy for you and others involved okay it's what you want and what other people need and what you need and what other people want 
okay and it will feel very amazing it will feel very angelic and divine and you will get on angel time and realize your life is what the fuck you make it